everyone it's a beautiful wednesday happy wednesday to you all from naomi kanaka from gospelthrougharts.com it's a beautiful day as the rain has come overnight this past few days it has been really good for my plants can you see the blooms on my beautiful mums and there's on the down as well so beautiful i want to encourage you from isaiah chapter 55 my brother and sister this is a really good chapter to read and study but i want to take uh, some time and talk to you from verses 10 onwards and it says for as the rain cometh down and snow from heaven and returneth not thither but water the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread for the eater so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing and the trees of the field shall clap their hands Instead of the thorn shall come up the fig tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it, sh it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. My brother and sister, you and I, we are an everlasting sign of God's glory, God's goodness over our lives. And many, many times we would see God's goodness over and over again his word is what we trust and what we believe and god says every word that comes forth from his mouth just like the rain falls and nourishes the earth gives water to the earth and accomplish the fields to grow well so the seed would be having for the sower and fruit will be there for you and me the same way God's word will accomplish what he has promised. What is the word God has promised you? It will accomplish. No one can nullify it. No one can void it. No plans of the enemy can stop what God is doing in your life and my life today. Will you trust the word of the Lord that is water to your soul, water to your heart, water to your mind, water to your life that enriches you, that strengthens you today? Will you come to the living water that is Jesus Christ? The woman at the well was waiting for water. She came at the hour that no one knew, but Jesus knew the time she would come and Jesus appeared to her and said, I have living water. You will thirst no more. This is the everlasting life that Jesus promises you and me. Who doesn't know you, Jesus is giving you free, free life. Accept the free water that Jesus gives that nothing can quench that thirst. Only the water that Jesus gives, only the word that Jesus gives can satisfy you. Today, if you feel downcast, if you feel lonely, if you feel that you are defeated, remember, God is living inside of you. I might be dry, but I have living water in me. That is the Holy Spirit inside of me, that I will have strength to live for today. Live for Jesus. That's what matters. When other houses tremble, mine is strong. Man is strong. Live for Jesus. That's what matters. To lead the light on you and light alone. I can't remember the words, but I want to encourage you, my brother and sister, live for Jesus today. May you come, come just as you are and receive the living water that Jesus is giving you. And he says, instead of thorn shall come up a fig tree. You would not have thorns anymore. Instead of the painful time that you had, you are going to have a blessed experience of life, living for the rest of your life. Trust in Him today. Trust in Him today. God sees what you do. 
God sees your heart. People can say things, people can do things, but God sees your heart. God knows the time perfect for you and I. The rest of our lives till we die, we will glorify God. And when we go to heaven, we will be in worship forever. My brother and sister, you might be downcast because of your sickness, downcast because of your health issues, downcast because of storms that you're going through. Remember, God is fighting for you. The battle has already been won. The enemy is a defeated foe. You have the victory today. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you. God, we thank you, thank you, thank you for the rain that falls and nourishes the earth and your word that we speak that comes from your mouth nourishes us. It is living water inside of us. God, we thank you for your word that we believe. We believe in your word. We have faith rising in our hearts to know that you will take care of our children, that you will take care of our finances, that you will take care of your, our homes. You will take care of the enemy who speaks ill of us. Lord, you will take care of everything that is injustice. God, may your justice happen in our life. May your righteousness be upon us. May your favor be upon us. May your joy and peace no one can destroy. May your health be upon our bodies. May healing be our virtue. Healing be in our veins. Healing be in our bodies. May we live every day for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brother and sister, be encouraged today. Strengthen yourself. Read chapter 55 if you have time. I just want to show you my beautiful mums that are blooming so 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 well this is the orange color it's pretty and this is the purple and i have put some chilies and can you see the chili is still growing even though the weather is changing rapidly it has so many flowers i hope it has enough time to grow and produce some peppers for me and god is so faithful he is with you. He says, come just as you are. Experience his goodness. Experience his favor. Experience his love and mercy all the days of your life. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'm not going to sing today. I don't have a song in my heart. But I want to tell you, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust His Word. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. So I thank God for the mountain. I thank Him for the valley. I thank Him for the storms He brought me through. For if I've never had a problem, I would not know that my God could solve them. I would not know that my faith in God can do what my faith can do. So trust in Him today. He's with you. He's fighting your battles. He is your rear guard, your shield, your protection. May He cover you under the blood of Jesus and prosper you and give you joy, peace and favor and healing. May you have healing in your wings as you sow in the kingdom of God. Have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you.